Everybody, I'm going to keep a stack with you. There is only one true reward worth farming from this entire event. This Jurassic Green is an absolute mean machine. Oh. Okay, everyone. Hope everybody out there is having a great day being safe out there. Today, I really, really wanted to highlight this specific pulse rifle that you can get from Festival of the Lost, right? Now, this is obviously going to be the Jurassic Green. It is a solar pulse rifle, but obviously this go around for this Festival of the Lost this year does have a bit of a different perk pool change. Now, if we go ahead and just take a quick look at its actual perk pool, you'll see that in the third column, it can roll things like perpetual motion, subsistence, steady hands, range finding it, killing wind, tunnel vision, air assault, mid assault, golden tricorn in the fourth column, adrenaline junkie as well, frenzy, multi-kill clip, incandescent, and then adaptive munitions with gut shot straight to round out the fourth column. Not a bad pool of perks to choose from. You got some real strong options here. Now, one thing that I do want to note that this pulse rifle might be lacking in is that stability. It's it's a little bit on the rough side. I'm telling you, it kicks back. That base stability of 41 ain't going to do you any favors either. So if you could snag something like arrowhead break in the first column, that would definitely help it out. The one that I'm using in the background gameplay has small bore. Now, for me personally, this 540 RPM pulse rifle has the one role that I've been looking for for a fat minute at least on a primary you can get this role at least this combo of perks on another weapon but that's a special weapon that is obviously going to be good old subsistence and incandescent combined together to be an absolute dream pair of a combo now the reason why I really wanted this on a primary because the special weapon that I'm referring to is the retrace path which we actually did a video on and it's like a literal flamethrower inside of destiny 2 but unfortunately because it's a special weapon you know you can't can't shoot it forever no matter how many ads come at you because you're gonna run out of special ammo big dog but with a primary you have a less likely chance of doing so now with a backup mag you do have this thing at a smooth solid 45 in the mag which can definitely go to work enough for you to clear out a set of ads without having to reload at all and because it's a primary you got infinite ammo that you never have to worry about now outside of that specific role if for whatever reason you don't want to have incandescent you know subsistence frenzy definitely goes to work subsistence Distance Golden Tricorn could be another pretty solid pick, as well as maybe like maybe Perpetual Motion or Range Finder in the third column, Incandescent in the fourth. But really, bro, I'm telling you, Subsistence Incandescent is like the bread and butter of what makes this gun so good. The only other competition for this, I guess you could say, style of weapon, that being a pulse with Incandescent, is the Battler. Now, look, I do not have the pattern for the Battler yet, unfortunately, so I do not have the God Roll that I've been really, really want, which is Demolitionist and Incandescent absolute dream pair of combo of perks right i'm not saying that this pulse rifle is better than the battler especially because the battler's stability is definitely a lot better a lot more smooth versus this one this gun definitely kicks however it does have the uniqueness of being the only primary in the game that can roll both subsistence and incandescent and i'm kind of starting to like this gun a little bit more than my crafted callus mini tool mainly because i just think subsistence is a much better perk than threat detector at least to have in the third call and just overall man when you're going to work on a big group of ads that subsistence really really comes in handy because the scorch kills the ignition kills that all procs subsistence allowing you to really really ignore having to reload this gun on a relatively consistent basis as long as you're killing a lot of group of enemies right if any of you guys have gotten this pulse rifle let me know your thoughts and opinions on it down below in the comments and of course be safe out there subscribe for more content